Quick question, what's the number that comes after 99,999? 100,000, <laughs> 100, yes, 100,000. Yes, friends, I just hit 100,000 words in my book. <gasps> so super brave, friends. I'm Joe Karlowski, the super brave teacher. And part of being super and brave means doing things that are super and brave even when you don't feel super and brave. Like writing a book. <laughs> so most of you might know, and if you don't know, that three months ago on, Octo on blah, August 7th, I said, you know what? I'm gonna write a book. I'm gonna write the teacher book that doesn't exist. I'm gonna write a book for teachers that doesn't exist. A teacher book that talks to teachers like teachers, that talks to teachers like people. So, I started writing that same day, and three months later, I am 100,000 words in. Yes, I've been writing a thousand words at least a day for the past three months. I've been like, come on, Joel, you got this. Come on, Joel, you got this. I've been like, getting to school early and like hiding because the kids love coming in and saying hi to me. So I'm like hiding and typing. I get home and I like hide and type and I've been doing it and pumping myself up and it is here, friends. The goal is finish it by Thanksgiving and have a publisher by Christmas or a literary agent or a publicist and all that good stuff. I don't, I don't know yet, but I did it and I'm making this video to just take it in and be proud of myself and enjoy the process and not like, look, I did it all and just, no, I wanna make this video right now and be like, Joel, give yourself a pat on the back and be proud of yourself because how many moments do we have in life where we're like, get to the final thing like, oh, I just got married and it's like, no, there was so much that came up before that. Oh, I just had a kid or my kid just graduated or whatever happens in life. And I can't agree, but so often, like, I forget to just really be grateful for the moment and the steps along the way. So I'm making this video to say, you know what? It's not done. I don't have a book in my hand, but step by step, I have been doing the work. And I'm so, so, so proud of myself. One of the things I just wrote about a few days ago in the book is playing the opposite game with yourself. So I'm going to end with this. It's a, it's a strategy that I put in the book, a fun one. And I want you to think about the opposite game. Now, I have two older brothers. And I used to be, kind of still am, pretty annoying. And they used to be like, Joel, you're being so loud. And I'd be like, what, did you say be louder? And I would like play this opposite game with them and it was nuts. But could you imagine, could you imagine playing the opposite game in real life? But not just to be annoying, but to be radically positive and affirming for other people. Could you imagine, I don't know about you, but so often I go into the teacher lounge and I people, hear people go getting down on themselves and they're like, gosh, I'm the worst teacher in the world. And I just go, what did you say? You're the best teacher you know? And they're like, they start laughing and they're like, stop it, Joel, with your positivity. But I mean it. How fun would it be if we just stopped ourselves and each other's in their tracks? <laughs> Wait a second. No, no. I'm the suckiest wife. I keep, I keep, uh, and it's like, what? Did you just say you're fabulous? What? Yeah. Ugh. I keep messing up with my kids. I'm such a horrible parent. Did you say you're a rock star and you need a hug? Is that what you said? I, could, I couldn't hear you. That your kids love you and you're doing your absolute best. What? I couldn't hear you. And the same thing for self-talk. There you go again, Joel. Completely sucked it up. You're the suckiest person in the world. What? I couldn't hear you, Joel. Did you just say you're the, the best person you know and that you should keep doing you because that's all you got? What? I couldn't hear you. So do that today. Be there for yourself. And I'm, I'm pumping myself up, not only for the book, but with this opposite game idea that I wrote about. Because now, the writing piece for me, okay, I can be committed to that, but now, I need to practice for myself and for my readers <laughs> the art of being the best teacher I know and showing up for myself and not letting that self-talk 
get me down. So when I'm like, oh, you're never gonna get a publisher. What, what did that you say? You're gonna send out 10 more letters to publishers and figure this out because that's who you are and that's what you do? Oh, no literary agents like see me and want to work with me. What? No one knows you yet and that's okay and you've never done this before and you're doing your absolute best so keep going, keep going. Is that what you said? I couldn't hear you. That's what I'm gonna be doing with myself. And that's what I encourage you to do as well. So, yeah, like this video and share this video, but if you know anybody who knows more about writing books and publishing books and getting books out there than me, let me know. You know my email, thesuperbraveteacher at gmail.com. You know my website, thesuperbraveteacher.com, www.thesuperbraveteacher.com. You know all those things. You know my Twitter handle. Proud Gay Teacher, you know Instagram, The Super Brave Teacher, all that stuff. Get a hold of me, let me know. I wanna know these things because I've never done this before. So it's super exciting and it's super scary. And I'm not gonna put my worth on this book, but I would and I know that this book needs to exist and it needs to get in the hands of teachers because we need to show teachers that they are freaking awesome. <sighs> yeah, so thank you. If that's you, who know it has connections, connect me. You are appreciated, you are loved, just for being you. I am appreciated, I am loved, I am gonna go rest, read a book, stop filming videos, and just be present with myself and take this in, because I am also enough, I am also appreciated, I am also loved, just for being me. Bye friends, and publishers. Everybody in the club, all eyes on us, all eyes on us. I wanna scream and shout and let it all out and scream and shout and let it out. We say you know.